Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Whatever. I don't know what time it is, but today is a brand new morning in CM Reap, and this is the beautiful property we are staying in. It's a boutique hotel called the Urban, and it is just amazing. I'll show you the hotel a little later. I mean, we've just checked in yesterday, and you know we're just walking around looking around and trying to figure things out but today we are going to the war museum we are here for nine days and we are just spreading out the whole touring thing accordingly yeah so now we are going to the war museum and i shall take you with us we have found ourselves a tuk -tuk, and now we are going to war museum So we basically got into the army base, military base, and now we have reached the war museum. Would be sensible to definitely book a ride for the whole day because I'm sure you're not going to find a ride outside here. So better to book to and fro. Our tuk tuk friend is going to wait here for us. We we'll finish this museum. Then we are going to Angkor National Museum and then he drop us back to the hotel. So we are going to do both the museums in today. So we just bought tickets. It is... Show me the tickets. It is $5 per person and we are entering this way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. As soon as we walk in, the first thing we see is a mine set up. This is so scary. Obviously, it wasn't a real mine. But you know, there's something about war museums I don't really like much. I don't like it that it is going to be so sad, you know, to see there's so many things that you see that makes you feel really, really, really sad sometimes. But this is the only way you really get to know the history. There is hardly anybody. Actually, I think we're the only ones who is here. But yeah, this is so cool. I better look down and walk because I don't want to fall. It's uneven grounds. This war museum was built in 2001 and it is spread over two hectares. This is basically located in between the city um, airport and the national road number 6. Do you know in reality, for 12 years, the CM Reap War Museum was neglected and was really deteriorating. I mean, this museum was facing a battle to even stay open. No tourists came Probably not more than 10 or 20 tourists in a day visited this place. I mean, it is so sad to hear that. But in 2013, a new general manager was appointed and the name of the museum was changed from CM Reap War into just the War Museum Cambodia. I mean, although the museum was badly damaged by a powerful small tornado on 18th of May 2015. Over the years, they have done many, many improvements and made sure that there are tourists who come here. And yeah, I mean, slowly with time, they achieved the numbers. In 2016, the rebuilding of the whole museum had started, beginning with the new landmine house in the back of the museum, which is where we are right now, which was finally opened in 2018. Let's go and see what is in there. 
this one can swim. And now we are going inside the museum. Here you can see many, many assault rifles like the AK-47, the landmines, the claymore, anti-personnel mines, etc. There's so many, so many, so many things here that you can see. I mean, you know, there are so many photographs on these walls that I am not going to show you because it just makes me sad and it has made me sad right now. I mean, coming to war museums, as I said, is not my most favorite thing to do. But we come here because there's so much history and this is how we are going to understand what really happened in the past. It is hot and humid, so please carry your water. Look at both of us. <laughs> we are drenched in sweat. Yeah. Cambodia is hotter and more humid than Thailand. Obviously, I think it's because of the being by the sea and I don't know what not, but it's just... Yeah, you know, war situations and everything is not so nice. Don't like reading about them, but this is how you get to know about what really happened and how everything. I mean, so many people died, so many people are hurt, so many people. Just glad it's over. But look at all these tanks. I mean, okay, so I think... We are almost done with the war museum here. It's pretty interesting. And uh, we are done from here. So now we are going to Angkor National Museum. We are sweating like crazy. It's very hot and humid. So when you come here, please, please make sure you come here probably towards the evening. Thank you for the shade. <laughs> My husband just stopped because he knows I'm filming but yeah try and come here towards the evening we have come here at 11 a.m and it's just too hot okay time to take you to Angkor National Museum After about a 20 minute ride, we are here at the Angkor National Museum. Each ticket costs $12 and we are inside, but seems like a very, ah, good deal because we are indoor <laughs> and not outdoor we are now trying to look for the briefing hall where we get briefed about the whole museum hey. how are you we are going inside the briefing hall and it's freezing here we are going to get sick <laughs> yes please a Khmer civilization with the aid of the most recent technologies is after getting a brief about the museum we are going to buddha gallery here you have a thousand pieces of buddha in all different shapes and sizes and there are so many buddhas in one place i've never seen so many buddhas before the angkor national museum is classified as one of Cambodia's premier museum sites. On display are thousands of important Buddhist and Hindu sculptures from various Angkor temples. Many original pieces recovered are for safekeeping by the authorities from temple ruins and are also on exhibit at this museum. Since the discovery of Angkor temples, Many of the antique artifacts have been stolen or sold to private collectors, museum 
and auction houses all over the world. Over the years, efforts have been made by the Royal Cambodian government to recover them and with the cooperation of various government agencies from around the world, many of the lost pieces have found their way back to Cambodia. That is so interesting, isn't it? So basically, the Angkor National Museum houses and exhibits many of the recovered items amongst the several thousand exhibits now on display. In this very modern building, tourists like us will discover the golden era of Khmer Kingdom and through state-of-the-art multimedia technology, enjoy a full story of the legend. This is amazing. I wish everyone comes here once. In short, Angkor National Museum is an archaeological museum dedicated to the collection, preservation and presentation of Angkorian artifacts. It also provides information and education about art and culture of Khmer civilization. It mainly dates from Khmer's empire, uh, say about 9th to 14th century. And most of these artifacts are discovered in and around Angkor archaeological sites. So this museum in Siam Reap is a must, must, must do when you are in Siam Reap. Angkor National Museum gives you the ins and outs history about the Khmer civilization and all about Angkor Wat. So please do come visit here. It is a must do. We finally finished with the Angkor National Museum and it took us almost two hours. So please, when you go there, make sure you take out a lot of time. We still kind of hurried up in the end because we were so hungry and we are just very hungry right now. It's almost two. So we kind of hurried up, So, but if we had stayed there for longer, we could have. So it would have been probably three hours. So yeah, just take your time and go there. It's, it's very interesting. At least you know the history. And we are now walking to this uh, pizza place that we saw. We want to go and eat pizza today. Look at the outdoor gym. I think, I think we should come walk out here after our pizza, pizza lunch. Okay, I said we'll work out after the pizza, but look what's happening now. <laughs> You're doing your own body weight. <laughs> Okay, we are going to go look for a place to eat and then I'll come back. This is the river that you have to cross when you're in the new part of town to go to Pub Street. But look at how pretty it is, yeah. They've done this so well and I'm sure at nights they light up and there's a lot of traffic. Okay, after a delicious pizza, we are so tired. We are gonna go back to the hotel. And maybe I shall end the video right now. Thank you so much for watching. But honest opinion, the war museum uh, can be avoided. I mean, there's nothing much that really interested us so much. But the National Angkor Museum is definitely worth it. So make sure you go there. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Lots of love. Bye-bye.